don't know if you've seen what's been happening in Regent Park, but they're calling it a revitalization, whatever that means. I, I, I totally understand that. I know a couple people that have been moved out and certain people that still live there. You know, they live in the newer, uh, uh, I guess, geared to market houses. Like, you know, I wouldn't want people to move from my home just to make way for, you know, rich yuppies. Look, I know what you're gonna say. Fight the power! But what can we expect where we're sharing half the room with another program and the kids are singing and dancing? I know the kids are a lot. I mean, we've gone over this already. If we want to have our own space, we have to pay for it. Speaking of funding, what's the word on the Toronto Collective Arts Grant? I don't know yet. You haven't opened it yet? Check the supplies box. It's in there? Oh my god! I knew I wouldn't see you today, so I packed it for you. Alright, dear Mina Ibrahim, thank you for your application to Toronto Collective Arts Grant. Blah, blah, blah. Very strong application. We were, we were impressed by many applications, unfortunately. We didn't get it. I didn't get it. Hey, don't worry, this is just how it goes. Some we get, some we don't. No, that's okay, that's okay, I'm cool. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday, you'll see me Monday? Oh yeah, okay. All right, cool, bye. Bye. are disproportionately, you know, lower income. And I get what you're saying, and for me, I appreciate it when it comes to facilities and it comes to activities and public shit like that. But when it comes to housing, then I start to feel a whole other type of way because, like, these are people's, you know, homes.